Namaste. Please sit in a comfortable position with your eyes closed. Take a few deep breaths. Let's begin our session with three rounds of Omkar followed by the starting prayer. Bring your palms together at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Take a deep inhalation. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Starting prayer. Sahana Vatu Sahana Bunatu Sahavi Yankara Vahai Tejasvi Navadhi Tamas Tuma Vid Vishavahai Om Shant Shant Shanti. Place your hands, take your hands behind you, holding the right wrist with the left hand. As you inhale, take your head backwards. As you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Inhale and slowly come up. Place your hands and open your eyes. Slowly come up to a standing position. Let's do a few warm up practices. Head to toe loosening. Starting with the neck rotation, bend your neck, bring your chin towards your chest. And as you inhale, turn your head from the right side, right ear touching the right shoulder all the way back. As you exhale, bring your head from the other side, left ear touching the left shoulder all the way forward. Inhale, exhale. Continue a few rounds at your own pace. Let's do it in the opposite direction. As you inhale, turn from the left side. The complete rotations. Last round. Of the practice. Bring all your fingers together on your shoulders and bring your elbows forward, elbows touching each other. As you inhale, raise your elbows up, expand the chest, stretch maximum, and as you exhale, bring the elbows down all the way from the back. Inhale. Exhale. 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 Continue a few rounds. Synchronize your breath with the movement. Now let's do it in the opposite direction. As you inhale, take your hands all the way back, expand chest all the way up, and slowly bring your arms down. Yeah. 
to restart the practice. Bring your hands in front of you, palms facing each other at the shoulder level. As in here, slowly start expanding your arms all the way back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, expand your arms. Exhale, fold. Feel free to speed up if you feel comfortable. Make sure you are moving your hands at the shoulder level. Slow down, slow down, slow down, stop. Spread your feet about one, one and a half feet apart. And bring your hands at the shoulder level. Take a nice inhalation as you exhale. Swing your arms to the right, right hand all the way back, left hand to the right shoulder. Inhale forward, exhale, swing to the left, right hand to the left shoulder, left hand all the way back. Inhale forward, exhale to the right, continue at your own pace. And if you feel comfortable, speed up. Make sure you're moving your hands only at the shoulder level. Focus on your spine. Feel the twist and turn to the entire back and spine. Slow down, slow down, slow down and stop. Press your hands on the side, rotate the middle part of the body, make big circles with your belly. Opposite direction. Bend forward, place your palms on your knees and rotate your knees outward to inward. Opposite direction, inward to outward. Bring your right foot forward into ankle rotation. Rotate your ankle five times anti-clockwise and five times clockwise. Make big circles with your toes. Flex your toes. Repeat the same thing with the left. Relax for a moment. Let's do Tadasana practices. Have your feet about six to eight inches apart and bring your, cross your fingers in front of your chest. As you inhale, stretch out your hand palms outwards at the shoulder level. Exhale, back to your chest. Inhale and stretch out. Exhale, back towards you. Inhale. Exhale. Continue four times. Now take your hands slightly above your head, about 135 degrees. Inhale, give a nice stretch. Feel the stretch from your heels all the way to your palms. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more rounds. Now let's take it all the way above in 180 degrees. As you inhale, take your palms up, turn your palms outwards. 
Inhale, stretch out, raise on your toes. Exhale, down. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, down. Inhale, raise up. Feel the stretch from your toes all the way to your palms. Now with your feet about hip width apart, raise your hand up and hold there. Now we're going to do sideways bending. Take a nice inhalation, inhale and feel the stretch. And as you exhale, bend towards your left. Inhale up, exhale to the right. Make sure you're only moving your upper body and not the waist down. Continue a few rounds at your own pace. Feel the stretches to the sides and the low back. Now, as we exhale to the left, let's hold the posture. Take a nice inhalation, stretch maximum. Exhale and bend towards your left and hold there. Knees are straight, elbows are straight. You can look straight or you can close your eyes and observe the stretch. Feel the stretch on the entire right side. Feel the left towards bending of your spine. And take a few deep breaths. Inhale, come up. Exhale, went towards the right side and hold. Even slow, deep inhalation, exhalation. Close your eyes and observe. Scan mentally, scan your whole body. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hands from the side. Relax and, relax and standing relaxation posture. Shitala Thadasana. Hands away from the body. Feet away from each other. Head down. Close your eyes. And observe all the changes. Open your eyes. The next asana we'll do is we'll do Vukshasana, balancing posture. So I prefer to take my mat out for this and do it on the floor. When you're ready, balance evenly on both the feet, hands by the side. Slowly shift your body weight to your left leg and slowly raise the right leg up, place it on the inner left thigh. Do not put too much of pressure, so you're not going sideways like this, but you're only balancing straight. If you cannot bring it outside, put it, place it below the knee. Do not put it at the knee because you may hurt your knee joint. When you're ready, bring your palms together at the heart center, Namaskara. Look straight, focus on the stationary spot, and slowly raise your hands all the way above. Give a nice stretch and focus on your breath. Focus on the stationary spot and hold the posture.
If you don't have a lot of balance, try to do it next to a wall without actually taking the wall support. Low deep inhalation, exhalation. Slowly bring your hands down and release your right leg. Let's repeat it on the right side. Slowly shift your body weight to your right. Bring your left foot onto the inner right thigh. Palms at the Namaskar on the joint, heart center. And slowly bring your hands on the way up and join the palms. Deep, take a few deep breaths. Observing the stretch. Slowly bring your hands down. Release your hands and release the left leg. Let's do another balancing asana. We'll do the warrior three posture, also known as aeroplane. Start with the back side of your mat, lower side of your mat. Take one foot forward with your right hand, right leg, sorry. Bring your hands at the shoulder level. Slowly move forward, putting your whole body weight on your right leg. And when you're ready, slowly start raising your left leg and start bending forward. Try to bring your upper body and left leg parallel to the floor and hold the post. Keep very normal in the final posture. The whole body weight on your right leg. If you are more comfortable, if you have more flexibility, you can join your palms in front of you. Slowly come up, bring your feet down, bring your hands down. Relax for a moment and then we'll switch sides to the left. Again, take one foot forward with your left leg. Bring your hands at the shoulder level. Shift your body weight onto your left leg. And when you're ready, slowly start bending forward. Raise the right leg up as high as possible. Bring it parallel to the floor. Upper body and hands far parallel to the floor. Hold the posture and keep breathing normally. If you have more flexibility, you can join your hands in front. Slowly come up, raise your hands, and bring your leg down, and relax for a few moments. Standing relaxation posture, hands away from the body, feet away from each other, head down, and close your eyes and take a few deep breaths.
Will you open your eyes? And come to the left side of your mat. Lutrikon asana and Virasana. Lutrikon asana, Virasana, and Pastor Konasana. Triangle posture, warrior posture, and side angle posture. Starting from the left side of your mats. Take your right leg out about three, three and a half feet away. Your hands at the shoulder level. Give a nice double stretch. Slide towards the right side as if someone is pulling your right hand away from you. And when you're ready, swing your arms, take your right hand to the right knee, or right cuffs, and left hand up towards the sky. Look at the left hand fingertips. Into three corner asana, triangle posture. Hold the posture, keep breathing normally, observing all the stretches. Tricorn Ashna is very good for flat foot. Feel a nice expansion to the chest and the shoulders. Let's do another variation of Tricorn Ashna. Turn your right foot 90 degrees and start sliding your right hand further down. Try to reach the right ankle. Your hands will be like six o'clock in the clock. Inhale, slowly come up. With your right leg still, right foot still pointing towards the right side. Again, bring your hands at the shoulder level. We'll go into warrior posture from here. When you're ready, start bending the right knee and try to bring your right thigh parallel to the floor at 90 degrees. Look at the right hand fingertips, hands at the shoulder level. The trunk facing forward, you're looking sideways to the right side. The warrior posture, Virasana. After a few day breaths in warrior posture, let's go into the Parsva Konasana, side angled posture. Place your right elbow onto the right knee and bring your left hand all the way forward and look towards your right. The entire left side in one line. If you have more flexibility, you can place the right palm next to the right leg, right foot, for more stretch. Slowly come up. Straighten the right leg. Turn the right foot forward. Bend the right knee and bring the feet together. Slowly shift towards the right side. Shift towards the right side. We'll repeat the sequence on the left. Inhale and take your left leg out about three, three and a half feet away. Hands at the shoulder level, nice double stretch. Slide towards your left, 
as if somebody is pulling your left hand away. Bring your arms, left hand on the left knee, right hand up towards the sky. Go ahead, look at the right hand fingertips. Asana, nice sideways bend. Make sure you're bending only sideways, the lateral bend to the side. Look at the right hand fingertips and keep breathing normally. Let's go to the other variation. Slowly turn your left foot 90 degrees and start sliding your left hand further down towards the ankle. And hold the posture. Slowly come up. Now we'll go to the Virasana, where your posture on the left. Hands still at the shoulder level. Start bending the left knee. And try to bring your left thigh parallel to the floor. Look at the left hand fingertips. Trunk is facing forward. After a few deep breaths, let's go to Parsha Konasana from here. Place your left knee, left uh, elbow on your left knee. The entire right leg is straight. So lifting your right hand all the way forward. So the entire right line of the body in one line. Look towards your left. Parsha Konasana is very good for diabetics. Take a few deep breaths in the posture. And if you have more flexibility, you can go further. Place your left hand next to your left foot for more stretch. Slowly bring the right hand back. Slowly come up, straighten the left knee, turn your left foot forward, bend your left knee, and bring the feet together. Relax in Shitala Tadasana, standing relaxation posture. Hands away from the body, feet away from each other, head down, close your eyes, and observe all the changes. Gently open your eyes. The next asana we'll do is the katasana, the chair posture. Spread your feet about hip width apart. Again, we'll do two variations. Inhale, raise your hands at the shoulder level, palms facing down, raise up on your toes. And exhale, sit down as if you're sitting in a chair. Make sure your knees are pointing forward, not sideways. Head up and hold the pose. Now 
looks straight. Take a few deep breaths. In Katasana. If you have more flexibility, you can go further. If you need certainly, it's okay. Inhale, come up. Exhale, raise your hands. Take a few deep breaths and then we'll do one more time. Katasana is one of the very good knee strengthening practices. Inhale, come up onto your toes. And exhale and sit back into the posture. Again. And keep breathing normally or take a few deep breaths. Make sure the back is not scoop but straight and head is up. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hand and relax for a few moments. Taking a few deep breaths. Okay, let's do the other variation of Katasana. Again, feet hip width apart. Now, with this time, we're not going to raise on the toes, the entire foot firmly on the floor. Inhale, take your right hands all the way above your head, all the way up straight. Give a nice stretch. And exhale, sit as if you're sitting in a chair. Go down as much as you can. Hold there and keep breathing normally. Go down further. Some more. Some more. And slowly come to a sitting position. And place your elbows inside of your knees into Malasana or garland posture. Stay there and take a few breaths. Slowly take your hands behind you, supporting your low back and place your back on the floor. Touch out your feet. Your hands behind you, head back, close your eyes and relax in Shitala Danda Asana, sitting relaxation posture. Take a few deep breaths, observing all the changes. Let's open your eyes. Let's do a few sitting warm ups. Spread your feet as wide as you can. Spread your legs as wide as you can. Cross your fingers. Let's do Chakki Chalan. Starting from the left side. Make big circles with your hands without bending your knees or elbows. Try to go as much back as you need to. Try to make the biggest circle you can. Do 10 times clockwise. And then we'll do 10 times anti-clockwise. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Opposite direction. So as you exhale, you can go forward and inhale backwards.
to start the practice. Place your palms on your mat in front of you. Let's do tapila making, chapati making. Take a nice inhalation. As you exhale, slide your hands further. Reach out as furthest as you can. Exhale and slide further. Inhale back to a few times. We'll start the practice. Bring your feet together, tap them a few times. And again, put your legs. Nice inhalation and bring your hands at the shoulder level. Exhale, bring your right, left hand to the right foot, right hand all the way back. Inhale forward. Exhale, swing your arms, right hand to the left foot, left hand all the way back. Inhale back. And continue a few rounds. Now hold your right leg with the left hand and hold there. Sorry, right, uh, right hand to the left toes. Inhale back, swing to the other side and hold. Release the grip, relax. Bring your feet together, tap them a few times. And relax, release any tight spots. Relax in Shitla Tandasana. The next asana we will do is Parivrutta Janasir Shasana. Take your left leg as wide as you can. Bring your right foot on the inner left thigh. Your back is straight. With your left hand, grab your left toe. And if you cannot reach that, grab your left ankles, or, uh, your knees, wherever you are, wherever, whichever level you're comfortable with. And slowly bring your right hand all the way around. And bring your right hand to join the left. Look towards the right side. Keep breathing normally. In the final posture. If you have more flexibility, you can place your left elbow onto the floor. Take a few deep breaths in the final posture and hold as long as comfortable. Inhale, slowly take your right hand all the way back. Release the grip. Release the right leg. And relax for a moment. And when you're ready, take your right leg out as wide as you can on the right side. And bring your left foot on the inner right thigh. With the right hand, grab your right toe. Give a nice stretch. 
and slowly bring your left hand all the way around your head, join the right, and look towards your left. You breathe normally. Observe the stretch. Inhale, slowly take your left hand back. Come back up straight, release the grip. Release the left leg and release the right leg. Relax in Shitala Dandasana. Hands behind you, head back, close your eyes and observe the stretch. Observe all the stretches. When you're ready, come back. Feet close to each other, hands by the side. Let's do happy baby swinging. Bring your right leg to the inner side of your elbow, left, uh, left hand, and right hand on the other side of your knee. And when you're ready, join your hands if you can, and swing sideways. If you cannot do that, you can just hold your left right leg and swing like this. Keep swinging sideways. Swing faster. Stop that swing. Place the right foot on the inner left thigh. Using your right hand, try to push your right knee down. Pull it up like your knee. Push it down. Pull it up. Do it a few times. This is one of the hip opening practices. Helps you prepare for Padmasana, Lotus Posture. After a few rounds, slowly release the right leg and raise the left leg. And let's repeat the same sequence with the left. Happy baby, swing. Slow down, slow down and stop. Placing the left foot on the right thigh, inner thigh. The left hand push your left knee down. Pull it up and hug your knee. Push it down. Up. Do it a few times at your own pace. So we'll stop the practice and leave the left foot on the inner right thigh. Slowly bend the right knee. Try to bring your right foot closer to you. 
And if you're comfortable with your hands, slowly raise your right foot to get into Padmasana. And stay in the posture. You can close your eyes. Your back is straight. Stay in the posture. Now, that chin mudra, touching the tip of your index and thumb, other finger straight. Raise your hands, palms on your knees. And take a few deep breaths. Padmasana lotus posture is very good for meditation. Adhyana. Let's do one round of Omkar. Bring your palms together at the heart center in Namaskar Mudra. Take a deep inhalation. Vibrations of Omkara resonate in the entire body. Enjoy the nice meditative state. In Padmasana. Slowly open your eyes. Let's balance this with Padmasana on the other side, meaning now we're going to have the right leg first and left leg down. Slowly using support of your hands, slowly release the right leg, release your left leg. Now, slowly bring your left, uh, right leg on the inner left thigh. Bending your left leg slowly using your support of your hands, bring your right leg up and adapt Padmasana. This is opposite side. You basically are switching the legs for a balance. And close your eyes. So you take your hands behind you, join the palms behind you, turn your palms upwards, fingers pointing upwards, and once you find the balance, slowly start sliding your hands up as high as you can. And get into the reverse namaste posture. Hold your palms there. Let's do one more, one more round of omkara in this state. Take a deep breath.
Feel the nice vibrations of Unkara. Slowly start sliding your palms down. Separate the palms. Bring your hands forward. And slowly come out of the Padmasana using the support of your hands. Slowly release the left leg. Release your right leg. And lie down on your mat in Shavasana. Let's do QRT, quick relaxation technique. Take your feet away from each other, hands away from the body. Collapse the whole body weight on the floor. Let there be no tight spots anywhere. Slowly bring your awareness to your toes. Lightly move the toes. Relax with soles, heels and ankles. Legs or calves, knees, kneecaps, knee joints. Lightly squeeze your knees and release. Relax your thighs, hamstrings, hip joints. Relax the low back region and relax the abdominal region. Feel the abdominal movements as you inhale and exhale. Take a few deep inhalations. As you inhale, feel your abdomen bulge up like a balloon. And as you exhale, feel the abdomen collapse. Bring your focus to the middle back and upper back. Sensitize your spine all the way from the low back to the neck region. Relax your chest and rib cage. Feel your heartbeat. Relax the neck, neck muscles, shoulders, shoulder joints, biceps, triceps, elbow joints, forearms and wrist joints. Palms, front and back. Slightly move your fingers. And feel the entire middle part and low part of the body completely relaxed. Slowly bring your focus to your throat, chin, cheeks. 
a gentle smile and relax the cheek muscles. So a little bit of saliva and moist in the throat. Relax the mouth, lips, tongue, teeth, gums. Relax your nose, relax your eyes, eyeballs and eye muscles, eyelids, relax the temples, relax the back of your head on the floor, relax the crown of your head, and relax the forehead. Bring your focus to the third eye position in between your eyebrows, above your nose. If you focus in the third eye position, mentally scan the whole body, from the heels to the back of your head, from the toes to the top of your head. Feel complete relaxation throughout the body. You slowly come out of the Shavasana. Slowly slide your hands along the floor above your head. Give a nice linear stretch. <laughs> Bending your knees. Slowly turn towards the right side. Place your head on the right hand. The left hand on the body. The left, right line on the body touching the floor. You see your hand in front of your abdomen. Using the support of your hands, slowly come up to a sitting posture. Vajrasana, Padmasana, or Sukhasana, whichever you're comfortable with. Thunderbolt posture, lotus posture, or easy posture. To continue our meditative state, to enhance our meditative state, let's do Bhavari Pranayama, the honeybee pranayama. So for Bhavari Pranayama, you can adopt Chin Mudra again, touching the tip of your index and thumb, and other fingers straight. Roll up your tongue and touch the soft side of your upper palate the tip of your tongue. With your lips closed, take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, you're going to produce the makara sound, mm, sound like a honeybee and observe the vibrations of the makara resonate in the entire head region. Do it at your own pace up to six to eight times. Mm.
Slowly start the practice. Feel the nice calmness of mind. Try to keep the same state throughout the week. We'll end our session with one round of Omkar followed by the closing prayer. If you have more time, feel free to stay in the same meditative sthiti for some more time. Bring your palms together at the heart center in Namaskara Mudra. Take a deep inhalation. Shanti Mantra, Peace Prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Makaschit Dukkha Bhagbhave Om Shanti 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 May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all be peaceful. Let there be no sufferings. Peace, peace, peace. Release your hands, take your hand behind you. Holding the right wrist with your left hand, make a gentle fist with your right hand. As you inhale, take your head backwards. As you exhale, bend forward, bring your forehead to the floor. Thanking the great divine and thanking the yoga masters. Inhale and slowly come up. Place your hands, rub your palms, make them nice and warm. Place them around your eyes and transfer the warmth. Give a gentle massage to your forehead, first and neck. With your palms in front of your eyes, looking towards your palms. Open your eyes with a few blinks. Namaste. Thank you.